Yo, what is going on everyone? Earn with Todd here, back with another Kangaroo Hunter video, finally. And in this video, I'm just going to show you a couple of the trades I took while on live stream on my Twitch sessions. We had a couple 200 plus pip trades along with this trade I have ever closed on stream, which closed right at 300 pips, and I did it while live on a Twitch stream. So I'm going to pull up those clips and we're just going to review all of these good setups. Okay, so the first trade setup we're going to look at is one of my favorites, the S&P 500 on the one minute chart. We got a nice kangaroo tail alert. We entered a sell and let's see how it played out. S&P 500, um, it's on the zone and I'm going to sell. Let's confirm. It's, it's been in a downtrend. All right, I got to sell SP. I'm doing a 25 pip stop loss on SP. We're on a zone. I don't have much time to look, but if we look yesterday, price was just chilling right here. So right there, we got in a really nice short. It was a nice setup. We had plenty of room to the left and price was extending past a zone. And this trade actually went for 200 plus pips. But before we show you the results of that, I want to show you a few moments later after I entered this trade, another kangaroo popped up. This time it was on the Amazon stock. All right, so let's let this clip run for Amazon. Uh, Amazon has a kangaroo though. And we got rejection wicks here. I might take a sell here on Amazon. I don't have much time to think about it but i'm gonna wait for price to clear the low of that kangaroo and i will enter a sell all right that's a good sign amazon or uh sp and you got a kangaroo okay you got kangaroo forming never mind okay i'm gonna sell amazon my stop is only 50 pips so i like the amazon sell because it's on a zone and there's room to the left since yesterday morning so I like this setup on Amazon. So we had two trades running, one short on SP500 and another short on Amazon. And at this point in the morning, I was also up 88 pips on S&P 500. So we're gonna keep letting these clips run. So at this point in the trade for SP500, I was going to do a partial close. And as we saw, we saw perfect movement on S&P 500 besides right here when it kind of did a retest. And this is why on a bearish kangaroo, we want the stop loss above the high of this wick right here. And we wanna give it a couple pips extra above the tail so we can factor in the spread and by doing that I was protected my stop loss was above and SP just dropped all right I partial closed I'm gonna uh, move a stop above here so we got one runner on SP and I'll just do it all the way down here since we'll be following it I don't in case it just drops like crazy you know so I did a partial close on this setup and we left one runner so in this clip we were now approaching 200 pips fuck yeah let's go let's keep going how low can we go? I mean, I'm fucking 200 pips in profit. I might just bag it. All right, I'm bagging. I got a bag there, okay? It's been like two weeks since I've had a 200 pip trade, so I'm bagging it. We got in 213 pips on two micro lots. So right after I bagged at 200 pips, we were looking right away at Amazon, and at this point we were up 84 pips. And I was also considering the close because if we look down here, price had just retested down to the morning opening bell, and it looked like this was gonna be a good point to close the trade, so let's see what happened. I'm going to close. I'm closing Amazon. Very, very nice. We closed like 270 pips this morning already. So this is why you need to be tuning into these live Twitch streams every single weekday at 6.30 a.m. On this session, we bagged 270 pips live on stream. So in this clip, we're going to look at what happened on a Friday morning. This was May 8th, 2020. And I was not expecting much to happen because after all, it was a Friday. But it's actually kind of funny with what I said because literally right after I said what I'm about to say, some crazy shit started to happen Let's see if we can uh, see anything on friday morning we got a lot more volatility this morning though for sure nasdaq does have a buy and i just bought i bought nasdaq on it got it did clear that this tail does hit a zone so let's see how it goes let me pull up in got so this was actually a really good kangaroo tail setup because we can see that price on this tail actually extended past a zone which is what we want this was a support level zone and as we see there was plenty of room to the left which is one of our number one rules when we are trading these kangaroo tails so in this clip here is what nasdaq did after we entered down here we bought after this candle cleared the high of this kangaroo candle so our entry was right there and by this time we were up 177 pips and i had moved my stops so i could secure at least 50 pips Ooh, look at that gassing now look at it gassing can we pass 300 i will close it. if we go 300 we got to break a record here okay we're almost there to break a record on stream let's go can i just got to go up a little bit more all right, we just closed 300 pips, I believe that was. There we go. Biggest fucking trade on stream. 
So as you saw right here, this was the biggest trade I had closed on stream ever since I started about six weeks ago. And here we had a 300 pip trade. I mean, so there's not much to be said. Kangaroo tails do work when they're moving in the right direction like this, of course. Do I win every single kangaroo tail trade? Absolutely not. But with patience and perseverance, you are going to catch these huge moves where you're catching hundreds of pips within minutes. You're not waiting days. So if you are strictly a Forex trader, do not be afraid to step outside of your boundaries and start trading these indices, especially on this broker called Inga Brokers. I will have that link down in the video description. And also the way we are entering these trades is by one reason and one reason only, and that is through the kangaroo tail indicator. It's like $17 a month. I've been using it every time I'm looking for kangaroo tails. It just makes it a whole lot easier because you're instantly being alerted when the kangaroo tails print. We're not having to search the charts because if we're having like 10 to 20 different charts up, it's very easy to miss kangaroo tails, especially on the one minute chart. And I believe kangaroo tails are one of the easiest candles to trade, especially for a beginner trader, because we instantly know where to set our stop loss. We put our stop loss down on the low on a bullish kangaroo, which is right here. We put our stop loss down there. And for the bearish kangaroos, of course, we would be putting stop losses all the way on top of the wick. So as soon as these candles print, we know exactly where that stop loss is going. There's no guessing. And one of the other rules that we are looking for is, is the kangaroo tail extending past the zone? If the answer is yes, that is a valid kangaroo tail to enter. So with that said, I'll have a bunch of links down in the video description, including the link for the kangaroo tail indicator. So with that said, everyone, Earn with Todd is signing off of this video. As always, give me a thumbs up, like this video, drop some comments, subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can see all of my future kangaroo tail videos, all of my other trading videos, broker review videos, and, and everything else that involves trading. So everyone, check out those links, drop those comments, and I'll see you in my next video.